What's up everyone, Azar Real here, and today I'm going to show you how to make custom GIFs, at, like the ones I made, or the ones I'm currently making. Um, right now, uh, yesterday I uploaded a video showing that I did make some custom GIFs for my um, OBS alert box for like donations, sponsors, uh, uh, like my Twitch subscribers, uh, my Twitch followers, and you know, and things uh, along the line of that. So I was in the middle of making one and I was like, you know what? Why don't I just show you guys how I'm making my gifts, you know, saying like from scratch per se and, you know, make a how to video on it. Because I'm pretty sure it's people out there that want to make their gifts, too. So without further ado, um, the things you're going to need is Windows Movie Maker or some type of uh video um editing program um uh, which also gonna need is like some type of screen recorder um right now uh, like the one i'm using is called uh um bandit cam and it's paid for so i don't have like the watermark on there uh but you can use like there's like various ones out there so some type of um screen recorder uh and you're going to go to the website called um, um, Imager. Now, this is a website that I use to make my gifts. They also have a, a um, video to GIF option, which is the one I'm going to be using. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So, I already recorded the videos that I wanted to do last night. So, what you're going to do with your screen recorder is that you're going to go to YouTube or any uh website that has a video that you want to make a gif out of and like you just want to record that video right and then you're going to take that video into whatever uh, um, on the video editing program you have i'm using windows movie maker because it's like real easy and simple and like you're pretty much just going to chop it up so let me first off let me save this because i'm actually going to save this project as it is i'm not going to uh mess it up so save that project as it is and then you just so let me take this out because like i said i'm gonna do it from scratch to show you but i already got that done so what you're going to do is you're going to take that video that you just recorded on whatever streaming platform that you were on and you're going to move it to your video editing program again i'm using windows movie maker and then you're going to chop it up to the portion that you want to make into a gif so that's the first step you want to do so I'm going to play this. Let me not get copyrighted. <laughs> so the the portion of this that I want to make a GIF out of is when they're powering up. But I just want that portion. So what you're going to do is you're going to, in Windows Movie Maker at least, like you're going to zoom in. I'm pretty sure other uh, uh, things have this option as well where you can zoom into the video. And I want to get it cut down right at the portion when they just start. So what I'm going to do, let me expand this. I should have had this up. Um, and we're going to set this as the start point. We're going to set that as the start point. Or you can just cut it down or like just trim it down to that point. And this is the point right there where we're powering up. They're powering up. They're powering up. Now, I, like I said, I just want to get this because I am making a custom one. So what I'm doing is that I'm chopping this up. Like I don't want this one right here. Like, I'm actually going to skip this part. Now, from right here, like, what you can do, matter of fact, let me uh, do it like this. Now, let's say, like, you wanted this audio in the GIF. Because when you move it to the Imager website, it's going to not record the audio in the GIF. Like, it's just only rec going to record the video itself as, as the GIF. So, what you want to do, and, like, I don't know if, if other programs have this, but in Windows Movie Maker, let's say, like, you wanted to turn what you have in, in, so far into, so, like, pretty much, like, you want to add that audio to the GIF in your, um in your um, alert box 
what Windows Movie Maker has is that, and I've been using this option too, you can click on um, th this option that they have called audio only, and it's going to make an audio out of that particular uh, video that you have trimmed. And I already did that, so I'm not going to do that now, but that's pretty much it. So let's get back to editing the video itself. Like I said, I want to get right there and yeah, look with, look with this, you want to be precise. Precise as possible. Because I want to catch this right before it starts showing Vegeta and Goku. Like I said, like this is a custom made GIF. And I'm using, uh, like I'm being very, very precise with what I'm doing. So get that. So now that I have that portion of the GIF already um, edited, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the same video back in there. Because like I said, like I'm, I'm trying to extend this little portion of them doing a little power up. But I only want certain parts, so certain things are getting edited out in the process. So we got this powering up again. There. I'll do it like that. I'm gonna start it off right. I can get it right there because I really want it to hit the exact split second that that animation starts. You see me kind of look just gently dragging it. This is just the way I do it. I'm pretty sure some of you may be satisfied with like other methods that y'all feel are easier. I'm just, I've always been like this. This is how I used to make my instrumentals from songs and things like that. And I'm kind of like a perfectionist when it comes to this. Like I want it done exactly the way I want it. So you're going to make that the start point and it's going to start off right there at the ex at the section that I cut off. So I don't want the Kaioken. I just want this piece right here. Yeah, we're going to get that out. I don't even want to show that part. The thing is, with imagery, you have to be careful. But I don't want to get too ahead of myself. There we go. Right there. So we're going to click that and make that the end point. Now, this is going to be the GIF right here. The GIF is actually going to be this. So I'm going to play it back just to see how well it is. Now, at, on this part, don't worry about the audio because, like I said, when you make it into a GIF, the audio in the video is going to be taken out. But when you put it in the alert box, let's see, we're going to go to computer because we're doing this on the computer. Um, my custom GIFs, I did that. Like I said, I already have the audio set too. So now that we got that, click on uh, Windows Movie Maker and now what we want to do is we actually want to upload the video that we just took and just so I can show you where am I? custom gifts right here uh, why is this like this oh I am terrible it's like all non view right here we want large icons, large icons, right there. No, wait, medium size, wait, medium size. All right. So as you can see, I got the my movie right here, but I named. Let's see, we're gonna change it to GIF four because the sound that I extracted from this video, I made it into GIF four sound. Now, another program that I use is called Mixpad, and the reason why I use Mixpad, let me see, let me shrink this is because you have to change in order to use it in the alerts you have to change the, the the audio file to an ogg file and i need to trim this down anyway and add like a fade to it as well um and i need to increase the, the, the audio volume so this is uh this is mixpad 
and this is for non-commercial use as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the ends. We can zoom in on that. Uh, actually zoom out a little bit. And we're going to raise the raise up the the volume decibels uh, up to six. I think it ought to be enough because right now it's like quiet, quiet. Like you're not going to be able to hear it too good if I put it in like the the alert box. So I try to like raise it up to at least like six. But since the volume is so low, and forgive me if I'm going too fast because like I've been doing this for so long, like I could just tell that the audio is just like low because there's not big waves in like the audio file itself that lets me know as somebody that's been doing this for like years that you know the volume is very very low maybe it was low when i recorded it or maybe the low was it was just low in the video itself but this is how you increase the volume of it but this is the this is the audio that i'm going to be using for with the alert uh gif right here Now that right there may be too much, so I may sh shrink that later on. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add fade to a certain point because I don't want it to be like that long. Let me see where I can cut this off because I like I know where I want to cut it off because I don't want the alert to be going like forever in a day. Right here so, so we're gonna add the fade right here um, and the fade right there that's the high point high point we're gonna lower now when you add the fade if, when, when you use a mix pad when you add the fade it's gonna leave another another notch right there where the line is and then the line that's behind that that's the one that you're gonna fade meaning that you're gonna lower the volume on it all the way down you don't want to lower it down too far, but you want to lower it enough to where it's like a gradual, you know, volume decrease. So you're going to see the example right here. See, just like that. So now that we did that, you're going to take that file. You're going to click on it. Make sure that it's all the way at the end. And this is one of the mistakes that you got to make sure. Make sure that the audio file is dragged all the way down to the left. Otherwise, it's going to leave like a big wide mute gap right there. And you don't want that. Um, audio. Go to browse and just select whatever, you know, audio file that you want to call it. Me, I'm going to call it the same as the file that I'm originally using. We're going to give sound four. And gonna export that. So we got that part taken care of. So, so the audio part is, is is already taken care of. Like the audio part is done. So no, I don't want to save. Shut up. Okay, let me shrink this down a little bit because I gotta open up a tab. Alright, so we're gonna go to YouTube, right? YouTube. Good old YouTube. We're gonna go to YouTube. And we'll, like I'm doing this live, so Forgive me if the video isn't as quick as other people may like. And then there goes the video right there. New gifts, alerts, emotes, responses, and donators. You're going to upload the video, right? And when you upload it, let's see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I just did it. I just did it. Where is it? I just saved the damn thing. Where's the my movie? I just had it. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I suck. Uh, my custom gifts right here. God, why is this thing like this? Right here. So we're going to put that seven second video up there. You, you want to make it unlisted. You don't want to make it private. At least from my experience, like you don't want to make it private. Because... Imager doesn't read private videos for whatever reason, or maybe I just made a mistake the last time I tried to do that. But it seems like when I had it set to private, Imager didn't, uh, Imager wasn't able to pick up on it. So that's the thing. Uh, 
So give me a second, wait till this gets finished. As soon as I get the link, I'm gonna head over. Okay, we're gonna take the link. And since it's unlisted, you ain't gotta worry about necessarily getting in trouble if there's any copyrighted material in it. But regardless of that, we're gonna take that and we're going to go to video to GIF. Now this part is tricky. When you, now this is what I learned is that when you do video to GIF, it actually takes a few seconds off the last portion of the video. So the part where you originally wanted to end it in a GIF, you may have to extend that a little bit in order to actually get the link that you want. Um, yeah, you see that right there? There we go. Now we're going to extend all that. That whole thing. There we go. And like I said, like you couldn't hear it. I mean, you could turn the, the sound on, but the GIF is still not going to have any sound in it. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to click on this little drop box. We're going to click download image. I'm not going to title this. I'm going to call this just GIF 4. Just for the sake of that. And uh, we can click open when, it, when it's done downloading. Just to see exactly what it looks like. This is why I said the audio in the GIF when you was editing it in whatever video program you was editing in it. It doesn't matter what it sounds like there because the audio is going to get taken out anyway when the GIF is finished. So that's going to be the end of that. So now that we got the GIF, now that we have the um, so now that we have the GIF and now that we have the audio for the GIF, we can now go to Streamlabs or whatever alert uh, program you have through OBS XSplit, like whatever it is that you're using. I'm gonna log in real quick. Let's see, well, let's do this for Twitch. I'm gonna do it for the Twitch. That's right, I did get rid of my cookies. It's cool. You guys can't see the password anyway. All right, so. Oh, widgets alert box oh, now watch this I'm gonna switch uh, like I already got like the raids set but just for the, like, the, the sake of the video and then I don't mess anything else up I, I actually care about because <laughs> the raids I don't really care for see these are the gifts I have right here you know these are like that's my World Warriors Collective Esports team logo I, I made one when Goku first blasted Jiren I made it when he first you know got that energy off his body and he sh revealed what he looked like and he mastered Ultra Instinct you know I got like a few here that I've been working on this one took me a minute the freezer one. Oh man just to get that the right the way that I wanted it but nevertheless so we're gonna take that video I mean that gift that we just did where is it where is it wait did I not Hold on one second. Did I not? Uh, oh, right here. And, and it went to uh, my downloads page. Be careful where you put these too. Otherwise, you're going to get lost like me. Uh, we're just going to call this uh, Goku. Um, and Vegeta's. Vegeta's uh, limit break. Okay, there we go. We're gonna drag that, make that into the GIF. Booyah. There it is. 
in the alert box. And now we're going to take that audio file that we made. Custom GIFs, GIF Sound 4. Right there. Hear that? Another thing you got to be careful of is make sure that the uh, that the font size Well, one thing you got to be careful of is make that make sure that the font size is down to a certain point cuz me I found this out the hard way that the font size it, by default it just goes up like high and you don't really want that so like make sure that's down to like a good like 24 28 you know like around that that way is it's not like exploding on the screen and nobody can actually see the gif like the words are like just taking over so we got that so now that we ain't got that taken care of uh let's actually open up the obs now i'm using like the Streamlabs version of obs i do have the original obs but I'm using a Streamlabs version. It's like a lot easier for me to, uh, it's, it's more, it's like a little bit better version in my, op in my opinion. But let me uh, get this uh, set. So now we got the Streamlabs one open. What we're gonna do is we're gonna test it and see how good it looks. So let me just let this load up, everything load up right there. Now when you first, um, uh, hit your alerts, it is gonna take a while to start up because the program itself is still loading up. I mean, you don't have to even do it like this. Like, you can just launch the widget, uh, the, the widget in the um, in the website. Let me just get this to move. Right. Like I said, I'm doing this live, so all the silly stuff is actually going to be shown. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it's acting like this. Jeez, come on, thing. Dang. No, never mind then. Screw it. Can't even get that one part done. Close that out. I'll go up. So it says raids. Wait a minute, did the thing cut off? No? Okay, dang. Why is it acting like that? Okay. So now we're gonna go right there. Wait, I'm gonna click on raids. Let's see what happens. It's gonna take a minute to respond. Or am I signed it? I think I am. is just being slow as hell right now. There we go. The alert's being slow. Give it a minute. I guess I can show you the other ones right now. Welcome. See, when you first click on it, when the program loads up and you try to test them, they're going to be slow. So... This one is definitely being slow right now. Wait a minute. Did they even have my raids enabled? Oh my god. I did not. I am so stupid. I didn't even have the raids enabled. What an idiot. Anyway, now that we got those enabled. So, we 
you tested it out. And this is what I mean by you don't want it having... <laughs> you don't want it to be too short in comparison to the, uh, to the audio. So the audio actually lasts a little bit longer. So I want this whole thing to play out. So the GIF was about like seven seconds long. So we're going to do that again. So, let's, so, so for the sake of this, I'm going to actually expand the, the alert box so you guys can get a better look at it. I'm just going to do that for the sake of the video. It's going back down afterwards. It's going down in the DM. All right. Okay. Apparently, I'm going to have to go back and do some edits because I don't want it to last that long. I don't want the um. I don't want the audio to be outlasting the. Uh, I don't want the audio to outlast the GIF. But as you can see, it does work. So that's how I make my custom GIFs right there. It, it's a quicker process than clearly what I'm showing here because I have to slow down and you know, show you the rest. Welcome. Right there. I kind of wish there was a way I can shrink this down, but let me just... Yep, see, there you go. So that's it, man. That's how you make a custom GIF. Um, I forgot to mention that you guys also need Mixpad as well, but I think I mentioned that uh, later on in the video. But, you know, it was a lengthy video, but hopefully it was a good step-by-step -step process and I spoke clearly enough to where you guys understood what you needed and how to do it. If you guys have any questions as about how to do this, of course, uh, leave a comment in the video. Of course, I will answer it and uh, help you guys out where you may be lost. But regardless of the fact, man, thank you guys for watching. Peace. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for live streams. Uh, until then, peace.